Tag is the last feature found in the Patterns folder. It can be very useful in organizing your patterns and can even be used to remove patterns. A tag is like an index for your patterns. In short, tags make it easier for you to locate your patterns. To enter the tag menu, select the tag tab here. Now, there is a lot here, but to simplify it, this section is where you select a pattern or patterns. This section is where you assign tags to selected patterns. And this third section allows you to add or remove tags. Let's start with selecting tags. This is very much like selecting a pattern to load onto the quilt area. You can scroll through all of the patterns, but again, it can become tedious fast. If you select the Select Tag button here, you can narrow the search by tag. The pattern I want to change is located in Geometric, so let me select that tag. Now, only patterns tagged as Geometric will display, narrowing down what I need to search through. Take a look at this pattern. It is kind of floral, and I would really like to find this pattern when I select the floral tag. Tap the screen over the pattern and it will highlight orange. If we look to the Assign Tags section, we will see all of the tags attributed to this pattern. Right now, it can be found under Blocks and Geometric. If I want to find this under Floral 2, all I need to do is tap Floral. Notice that all three tags are highlighted. This means I will find the pattern under Blocks, Floral, or Geometric. You can add as many tags to a pattern as you want. Whatever is going to make it easier for you to locate your patterns. But say that you had multiple patterns that you wanted to add a tag to. Look at these patterns. They are also floral patterns. If I try to select more than one, the highlight just switches between them. You can select more than one item if you check the box next to multi-select. With the box checked, I can select more than one pattern at a time. Then I can add tags just like I did when there was only one pattern selected. All of the selected patterns will now show up under Blocks, Floral, or Geometric. Another quick tip for selecting tags is that you can search by multiple tags here, too. Select the Select Tag button again and pick another tag. Since I know that we just added a few to Floral, let's select that one. All of these patterns are tagged as both Geometric and Floral. To remove a tag that you are searching by, tap its box and it will go away. Notice that it shows all of the patterns tagged as floral now. Now we will go over how to add or remove a tag. Come over here to the Edit Tags section. Right now you cannot select anything here, but if you check the box next to Edit Tags you will be able to add or remove tags. Notice the selection page turned gray. You will not be able to interact with patterns while the Edit Tags box is checked. To add a tag, select the plus sign. A keyboard will appear that will allow you to name the tag. I will name my tag Go To for the patterns that I use the most, as in my Go To patterns. Select the green check mark and the tag will be added into the list. The tag is empty right now, so later I will need to add my frequently used patterns. You do this in the same way we moved the patterns into floral earlier. Now, take a look at this junk tag. I cannot use this for patterns, and I want to get rid of it. Highlight it and select the minus button to get rid of it. Deleting tags cannot be undone, so be very careful with this action. And remember, deleting a tag will only delete the tag. All of the patterns under that tag will remain on the tablet. Lastly, you can delete patterns from this screen as well. Make sure Edit Tags is unchecked. Select the pattern or patterns that you want to remove as we did when assigning a tag. Select Delete when you have selected the pattern or patterns you want to remove. Again, this action cannot be undone. Please use with caution. And that's it for the tag menu.